obligatorily by saying that uh, no, QSMP is not going to close. Uh, QSMP is going to continue. Uh, I say this uh, because with everything I am about to say, uh, I know like with many other instances, the first thing people will say is that uh, it's closing down and it's done. And I just want to clarify, that's not the case at all. Um, I simply want to talk about and address a lot of different things. Uh, just a reminder too, uh, please don't clip things out of context or at least provide the context. Uh, because there's a lot that I'm going to be saying, and uh, so yeah, so, uh, and please watch the entire thing if you can. Um, uh, so, I want to start off by saying that USMP is literally one of the coolest projects I've ever had the privilege uh, of running, uh, but it's also brought me a lot of the toughest experiences. Uh, some of which uh, I will get into in later. In essence, this is my very first project that I'm the face of, uh, that I do. Uh, and I've learned a lot of different things from the space uh, and from the experience uh, that I've had uh, with the project. Uh, and for the first time, I want to be very open about a lot of things that I otherwise wouldn't necessarily speak about. Um, so yeah. Starting off, uh, I want to say, uh, from this moment forward, uh, I am stepping away from the QSMP. Uh, and from this moment on, I am no longer a part of the administration of QSMP. Uh, the reason for this and the reason for this choice is not easy. Uh, it's kind of scary and it has affected me uh, pretty personally. Uh, this has gone to the point where uh, people are openly posting my docs on Twitter, uh, and these tweets are getting thousands of likes. Not only this, uh, it's being actively justified to post my private information online uh, because it is said that I am a creator and I chose to be in the public space. Uh, this to me is pretty scary. I'm sure there's a large cultural difference when it comes to creators' private information. Uh, but this is not okay in the US uh, because the US has a long history of swatting and creators being killed uh, because of swatting. So yeah, you can find this information, but openly posting it on Twitter and having it pop up on the timelines of people who never seek this information to begin with, uh, it's, it's very dangerous and, and it has become dangerous. Um, this has especially gotten pretty scary because since two days ago, since it started happening, uh, I've had an email sent to me uh, with death threats and uh, people send me pictures of uh, being close to the location I'm in. Uh, and that is terrifying when people are actively and openly justifying it. Um, to the point where it's gone this heavy, um, I don't physically feel safe anymore. And to see it get this bad and, and to be targeted like this, uh, to me, it is, it is my limit. Uh, so that's why I'm stepping away from being the face of this project. Um, having said this, um, I understand and I know that a lot of people uh, don't agree with the way I do things, and that's okay to disagree. But I want to share a little, a little more about myself uh, because I have an audience, but there are people who don't know me much at all. So I'm going to be a bit more open and a bit more, more vulnerable than I'm used to. Um, to start off, I want to say that I am an incredibly private person. 90% of my career has happened behind the scenes because I keep everything I do privately. Um, I've had disagreements and serious conversations with people always in private because uh, I believe that that's the most professional and respectful way to do it. Uh, since QSMP began though, um, this definitely has resonated badly with people who had never seen my content before and had no idea who I was before the QSMP. So a lot of people have interpreted my privateness as being shady or not being transparent. Uh, the reality is, this is how I've been all my life. Uh, I've even had internet friends in the past get angry at me for not being as open as they were. Um, but in reality, that's just how I consider things should be handled. Uh, because there's never been anything more important to me uh, in my career than the distinction between my personal life and my work life. Um, and I really hope uh, you guys can understand this part. Uh, 
Now, in terms of my work life, USMP has taught me a lot of things. Uh, more specifically, how to handle a large scale project like this. I need to remind everyone that I'm not some super smart manager. I don't have lifetime experience of, of running projects this big, uh, let alone really any projects. Uh, this is my very first project ever. And there has been a lot that I've learned from my mistakes throughout this time, uh, including delegating a lot of administrative decisions to people I shouldn't have trusted. Uh, and I just want to thank everyone who has been patient with me uh, throughout these mistakes that I've been making, because I have made a few. Uh, one of the situations uh, that occurred um, was uh, a few months ago, uh, the Brazil community was being the target of a lot of xenophobia. Uh, situations like these uh, are, are not things I was ready to handle. And instead of acknowledging specifically at that moment what the Brazilian community was going through, I made a general statement uh, that condemned all the xenophobia uh, and all the communities that, that had experienced it. Um, I do believe I should have been more specific uh, on this matter instead of generalizing it. Uh, because even though uh, all communities have suffered from xenophobia, I definitely could have been more specific on my stance and more specific in this particular case uh, that it was uh, the receiving end was a, a community from Brazil. So I apologize if I wasn't firm enough on this. Another situation uh, that came up uh, regarding the team behind QSMP and a lot of different concerns that were uh, that were being had that came up over a month ago. Uh, I just want to clarify that that was a situation that I was very ready, ready to handle privately. And it was brought to me privately uh, a day before. And I was more than happy to hear out concerns regarding it. Uh, but the day I was uh, the day I was about to handle the situation, it, it went public for no reason. Uh, I ended up finding out that I was also being screwed over. Uh, and it became something uh, jurisdictional. It has become something jurisdictional. And because of that, it would be incredibly irresponsible for me uh, to go out and discuss it openly in public. Um, that being said as well, I, I want to clarify a recent accusation that was made, which was the involvement of in the project of someone that has nothing to do with it. That is not true. And I want to make that clear. Please, please be careful uh, with the information uh, that, that you choose to believe or choose to openly spread. Uh, please be aware of where it com comes from or what intentions it might be with. Um, the reality is, uh, these matters are being handled by the appropriate authorities. Uh, not with a twit longer or with 10 streams of me talking about it. So I apologize if, if I don't, if moving forward I don't say much about this. Um, but it's because I can't. Uh, it's not excuses, it's not ignoring it. I literally can't. Uh, they're already being handled, like I said, by the appropriate authorities. So I cannot say anything. Um, so moving forward, uh, I hope you guys can understand that part. Um, I just want to say that um, I, I want to end this off by saying how much I love the project, how much I love the QSMP. Um, I've worked, I've worked a lot on this project. I've worked very hard on this project. So to see some pretty big misconceptions really thrown around uh, about me. Um, uh, things like saying that I purposefully put my stories on top of others creators or that I get involved in other creators lores uh, forcefully uh, This is not true any lore or any matter like that. I've, I've always talked with the creators um, Before doing anything together like big plot twists and explosions I've always communicated with the creators privately about their lores uh, So please keep in mind that none of us hate each other uh, please keep this in mind. None of us hate each other. And, and, and I ask people to please stop making theories uh, that are just there to create tension between friends. Uh, I want to make that part really clear. Um, being told that also that I have zero passion and zero creative involvement in the QSMP kind of hurts too, uh, because it's not true. Um, QSMP has been quite literally the only thing on my mind this past year. Uh, and I, I'd love to even show you guys at one point a notebook I've, I have of all the details of QSMP, the purgatory events, the elections, uh, all the dynamics. Um, it's truly, truly a project that I love and care for so deeply. Uh, there, there hasn't been a single QSMP event 
uh, that has been done without uh, my creative input. And I, and I just really need to make that part clear. Um, so uh, that being said, uh, I know a lot of people are gonna have the question of what is next uh, for the QSMP. Uh, so moving forward, I do wanna let everyone know that this past month has been dedicated solely to restructuring the team behind the server. Uh, sorry if there hasn't been many updates. Uh, I remain very, very committed to making sure that these changes happened and you guys will see them very soon. Uh, there has definitely been action taken behind the scenes as well. Uh, and a month ago, I wouldn't even think about leaving uh, the team in those conditions. Uh, but today I'm very confident in the team behind the project right now, uh, because the team right now absolutely loves the QSMP. They have so much passion for it. They absolutely love the project. Uh, I will still be joining the server and playing in the future, uh, but I'm no longer uh, remaining uh, uh, in the administrative part of the project moving forward. Um, so yeah, uh, I just, I want to thank everyone uh, for being patient uh, and for being understanding. Uh, this year, I had to make a lot of difficult choices. Choices I've never really been mentally or physically prepared for. Uh, situations that have literally brought me to tears. And I don't share this side of me ever, um, but just because I don't share it doesn't make me any less human. I, I believe me, I feel everything everyone says. Uh, I'm a very sensitive person, uh, but I, I hear every, everything everyone says. Um, and uh, there's, always being, there's always been action taken in regards to, to things. Um, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to clear all this up. Uh, thank you so much to those who did understand uh, the immediate dangers of doxing. Uh, again, it was a pretty difficult choice to make, uh, but being under the threat of physical harm uh yeah it, it it did not it 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 was difficult it was difficult um given all this uh there's a lot of projects uh that i was working on that i put on hold uh to do qsmp uh but i'm going to be taking this next step and continue doing everything i've been working on uh i just want to tell you guys that qsmp is a really incredible project um the effect it's had on a lot of people and i hope everyone can continue to enjoy it uh keep supporting everyone involved in it uh rest assured that i've left it in very good hands i've left it in the hands of a very caring team um there's a lot that was prepared even uh with the current team and uh yeah i really hope you guys can watch and enjoy it uh thank you again uh for showing so much passion for the project uh thank you for all the love and all the experiences with the project um, uh, once again, clarifying, uh, QSMP will continue, uh, but I will be stepping back. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to clarify those things. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, gracias por estar. Los quiero un chingo. And yeah, bye guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you. Have a good day.